In the last video, you guys saw how the belt started to shred and it got caught right there in the alternator. There's a little piece of it. The alternator caught that piece. Now I just gotta get this piece out of the alternator. It probably went out of the way. Uh, hopefully that's not a problem, but the good thing is it didn't get to the crank. It actually didn't get to the crank where it started to shred, so I caught it on time. And I bought a new replacement belt right there to replace it, so I'm in the process of doing that right now. All right, yeah, so I ran into a little bit of a dilemma here where when I install the serpentine belt, it rubs against the alternator. It's too close to the alternator. It's supposed to be at least a little gap between here, between the alternator and the belt and the last, uh, the last groove on the pulley. It's supposed to be a little space right there, but look how close this sits. No matter how much I reroute, not reroute, but how I adjust it, it's still sitting too close to the, the uh, metal part of the alternator. So when the car's running, it's you know it's burning against it's rubbing against as you can see the little shreds of the belt coming off now if i let it run too much it might just shred the, the entire belt uh it was the same thing with the old belt right here now they didn't have that issue on the old alternator but apparently i have it on this so trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Either replace the pulley on the alternator or just, I don't know. At this point, it's just, this is a waste of time right now. So I'm gonna start it up again and just show what I'm experiencing right now. gonna start to smoke here. I can smell it burning. As you can see it, it moves up the power steering pulley just slightly and it's starting to smoke because it's rubbing too close to the alternator. So I gotta shut it off. shut it off see look look it's smoking right there because pieces of the belt is going inside of the alternator and it, it just looks like it's coming off of the power steering pulley right there like it's literally almost like well but almost a tooth Installing the Mosselman oil filter housing, and once you do that, you got to prime. I think you got to prime the fuel system, <laughs> the oil. I'm not sure, but just turn the key on and off a few times, 
and let's see what happens. Hopefully we don't lose a belt.
couldn't believe I made it. I ain't even. Uh, this car is a mess. Like it need a full detail after all this. I need to like clean this car like ASAP. Because Lord Jesus, this is this is a mess. This, this is a mess of a car right now. But I hit the gotta go make some money to pay for more mods. <laughs> That's basically what we gotta go make some money to pay for more mods. But she made it. I am surprised she even made it. Uh, and she didn't overheat, which means I did the I did the job right. Alright y'all, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Your boy's about to clock in and make some moolah. Alright y'all. guys can see she's back up and running like way better than before so and she's boosting way better I think I was having an issue with that uh the boost pipe it wasn't fully in before but now I'm not having like uh that boost uh cut off that I was having before uh before I started having an issue with the alternator but uh she's running man I mean you know there's no leak nothing you know, I, I did not I did notice a tiny bit of improvement on the the temperature, uh, but further testing is needed. I'm gonna have to drive the car for a couple of more weeks for me to really say, okay, I'm gonna um, say that this thing, this uh, Musselman oil thermostat thing, actually works. But um, yeah. I, I'm also deciding to uh, upgrade the oil cooler or you no know, transmission cooler oil cooler whatever you call it but I'm trying to go with a, a front mount um, universal front mount instead of like putting it in the stock area um, and this one is a little bit more different it's a little more costly than the, the ones you put in the stock location but the cooling result is it's much better than you know any other that I've seen out there so uh, yeah but I'm gonna let you guys know once once I get the parts and everything sorted out and I'm ready to do the job of course I'm gonna drop that info on Instagram first and then I'm gonna upload a whole video on YouTube here to you know show you guys the results and you know the process installation and all that good stuff but anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and please, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.